Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain and define that how we can calculate calculate the crank bar length and slab R in beams. And what is crank bar and why we provide the crank bar? So I will explain everything today in this lecture with the help of figures and example. So it will be easy to understand. So first of all, if I consider, for example, this is a beam and these are the two columns you see here. These are the, this is beam, a horizontal member, and these are the two columns, vertical member take to, to take the load from the beam. So this is kind of frame structure. And if I draw the free body diagram here, there's a free body diagram where we have a beam, a horizontal member, and also two columns, a vertical members. So now if I apply the load on this frame structure, what will happen? The beam will try to bend in this way and this way. So it will show some positive bending movement here at this point and will show some negative bending movement here at these two supports. So now for negative bending, for positive bending movement, we have to provide the reinforcement here and also for negative bending movement, we have to provide the reinforcement here. So why we provide the reinforcement? Because concrete is weak in tension and we always provide the steel reinforcement in the region where there are tensile stresses or there are bending movement. So what we do in crank bar that this is a movement here positive. So we, if I consider again here, this is a beam section. So what we do, we take the positive bending movement, we, we provide the reinforcement for positive bending movement here and then we bend it like in this way in both sides and make it like in this way on the supports. So this is for positive bending moment reinforcement and this is for negative bending moment. So now we have reinforcement in both the region and we only bend the bar at those region. So this bar will be known as a crank bar where it has been bent here and also here because there is no much stresses at this portion of the beam. There is no such high stress bending stresses at those region. That's why we bend it at those portion in order to make the bar available for positive bending movement here and negative bending movement here. So hope you guys understand this concept of providing the crank bar. Now let's take this as a beam and here are the two columns. You see here this is a beam and there are the two columns and we want to find out the crank bar length. So how to do it? And let's suppose this is the D. D is the distance or the height of the crank bar. I can see it here where we see here there is a small portion which we call it concrete cover. And also here we also have concrete cover. So this D is basically without any concrete cover. This is exactly the height of the crank bar from taking out of concrete cover to the top portion where there is no concrete cover. So it is only the height of the crank bar. And mostly the crank bar are provided at a degree of 45 degree. They are bent at 45 degree. So now if I take this part of the beam or the crank bar, so it will be like this way. So here is 45 degree with the horizontal. And we know that this height or this height is known to us which is D which is the depth of the or the height of the crank bar. This is known to us D. And this is the crank bar length here. If I draw it with a different color, LC. So this LC is the crank bar length and we have to find out this crank bar length here. So we can simply use the trigonometry and here we can find out this. We have to find out uh, trigonometry and we know that sine 45 degree will be equal to the perpendicular divided by hypotenuse and sin 45 degree perpendicular is D and hypotenuse is LC here so we got LC is equal to the D divided by sin 45 degree and if you divide sin 45 degree what we will get we will get LC equal to 0.42 D so this is the length of the crank bar so I can write it here, LC is equal to 0 0.42 into D. So now if the D is known to me, for example, this is, for example, I'm just taking an example. 
this is one meter so what will happen lc the crank bar length will be 0 0.42 into one meter it will be equal to the it will come out 0 0.42 meter so this is the way how to find out the crank bar length and mostly we use 45 degree if you change the angle keep in mind that you also have to put this angle accordingly for example this is 40 degree not 45 so you have to put it here 40 degree and again 40 degree and then d, d, d divide by 40 degree you have to find out in calculator and simply you will get a different crank bar length and similarly just multiplying it with the depth of the crank bar then you will find your crank bar length and your beam are the slave so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video